Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to solve the challenges in Record Trigger Flow Super Batch Unit. To unlock this Super Batch, we need to complete this Record Trigger Flows module. And if you complete this, then the Record Trigger Flow Super Batch Unit will get unlocked. And before going to the challenges, we need to sign up for the Developer Edition Org. Further, click on this link. So this is the form that we need to fill up. Fill all the details available here and then click on the sign me up button. Then you will receive an email regarding password reset. It takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes of time. Wait until that. And after waiting 15 minutes of time, you will receive this mail like welcome Salesforce verify your account. So here click on this verify account button. Then set your own password. So I already did all these steps. So I'm just copying my username and move to the instruction space. Just scroll down to the last. Here click on these three dots and then click on this connect org button. Now paste the username which you copied and then type the password. Then click on this login button. So enter the OTP, rather click on this verify button. Here click OK. Click hello. Finally click on this let's save it button. Just scroll down to the last. So yeah the org is connected successfully. And click on this launch button. So this is the setup page of our developer edition org. So let's move to the instruction space. The challenge one is create the opportunity from engagement flow. So move to the instructions. So these are the instructions that we need to do. Let's move to the setup page. And here in this quick find search for flows. Select these flows. Here click on new flow. Now we need to create record triggered flow. So here select this record triggered flow. And search the object as engagement. And here select this record is created or updated. And after that from this condition requirement select it as all conditions are met and and in this field search for potential donation and for the value select it as true that that just scroll down and here select this only when your record is updated and just click on this cross icon at the top after that we need to add get records element so click on this plus icon and here search for get records so select this get records type the label as get records and then select the object as record type and after that uh, in this field search for record type name so select this record type name and for the value copied from the instructions that is donation add it here after that just click cross at the top now we need to add create records element further click on this plus icon and here search for create records select this create records and type the label as create opportunity and from this drop down select it as manually and search the object as opportunity select this so here for this close date field we need to add triggering engagement and in that select this end date and for this name field we need to add the value as triggering engagement and in that we need to add engagement name so select this engagement name again for the stage field the value is prospecting so select this prospecting then click on this add field and search the field as account id for the value search it as triggering engagement and in that select this account again click add field 
now search the field as engagement and for the value search it triggering engagement and in the record id so select this record id again click add field now search for record type id and for the value select it as record type from get records and in the record type id so here it is so like this we need to add the six fields and after adding all of these fields just scroll down and here select the checkbox near to this manually assign variables and for this variable select it as record type from get records and in the search for record type id so here it is record type id after that just click on cross icon at the top so like this we created the record trigger flow here click on this save button and copy the label from the instructions that is opportunity from engagement then add it here then click on this save button the flow is saved successfully now activate the flow click on this activate button so yeah the flow is activated move to the instructions just scroll down to the last here click on this check challenge button now we got 500 points that means we completed the challenge without any errors In this video, I am going to solve the second challenge in Record Trigger Flow Super Batch Unit. And the name of the challenge is Create the Assign Major Gift Manager Flow. To start this challenge, we need to launch the developer edition of Further click on this launch button. Then you will be redirected to this page. So let's move to the instructions first. So here are the instructions that we need to complete. Here what it says is we need to create a new flow named assign major gift manager. So let's move to the setup page and in this quick find search for flows. Select these flows. Now click on this new flow button. Select it as record triggered flow. And for the object search for opportunity. And here click on this a record is created or updated and from this condition requirement select it as all conditions are met and and for the field search for type so here it is opportunity type and for this value select it as major gift and after that from this select it as only when your record is updated and from this optimize the flow for select this fast field updates so just after changing all of these just click on this cross icon at the top after that add the get records element further click on this plus button and here search for get records select this get records and now type the label as get role and for the object search for role so here it is user role and from this search for developer name and equals and for the value type it as major underscore if underscore manager so type the value exactly and after that click on this cross button at the top then we need to add one more get records element for that click on this plus button now search for get records and type the label as get user after that search the object as user so select this user so for this field search for role id here select this role id and for the value select it as role from get role and in that select role id so here it is after that just click on this cross button at the top and then we need to add the update records for that click on this plus button and here search for update records so select this update records now type the label as 
update opportunity and after that just scroll down and here for the field search for owner id select this and for the value search for user from get user and in the search for user id so here it is after that just click on the cross button at the top so like this we created the flow and we need to save this flow so for that click on the save button and copy the label from the instructions that is assign major gift manager and then add it here click on the save button yeah the flow is saved successfully and we need to activate click on this activate button the flow is activated so move to the instruction space just scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button so yeah we got 500 points that means we completed the challenge without any errors hi hello everyone welcome back to our channel let's solve the last and final challenge in record trigger flow super batch unit and the name of the challenge is configure the privacy data removal and donation amount changes flow to start this challenge we need to launch the developer edition or further click on this launch button then the setup page will looks like this first of all let's see the instructions here are the instructions that we need to complete first we need to create a record trigger flow named privacy data removal let's move to the setup page and in this quick find search for flows select these flows and here click on this new flow select the flow as record triggered flow for the object select it as account and here select this a record is deleted and after that click on the cross button at the top now we need to add delete records element so click on this plus button and here search for delete records select this delete records now type the label as delete contact here select the specify conditions and search the object as contact select this contact and from this search the field as account id and after that for the value search for triggering account and in that account id so select this account id after adding all of these just click on the cross button at the top then we need to add get records element further click on this plus button and here search for get records select this get records and type the label as get new account and for the object select it as account and here search the field as name so select this account name and for the value copy it from the instructions that is anonymous bucket then add it here after that from this how to store record data select it as choose fields and let salesforce do the rest and further field search for name so after adding all of these just click on the cross button at the top then we need to add update records further click on this plus button and search for update records so here it is click on that update records now type the label as update opportunity and here select it as specify conditions and for the object search for opportunity and from this search the field as account id and after that for the value search for triggering account and in that account id so select this account id after that here in this set field values search the field as account id and for the value search for account from get new account 
and insert account id so select this account id after adding all of these just click on the cross button at the top so like this we created the flow successfully and we need to save this flow further click on the save button and copy the flow label from the instructions that is privacy data removal after that click on the save button now click activate yeah the flow is activated successfully and then we need to make some changes in this donation amount changes flow so move to the setup page and from this flow search for donation amount changes select this donation amount changes so here open this decision element and here remove this placeholder now click on this plus new resource and for the resource type select it as formula and for the API name copy it from the instructions that is change percentage add it here and for the data type select it as number and we need to add the formula here so I have written the formula and I will add this formula in the comments and description also to copy from there and then add it here after adding the formula click on this text syntax button yeah the formula is valid after that click on this done button so yeah we changed the resource name with change percentage just click on this cross button at the top and here click on this save as new version and click save button the flow is saved and we need to activate further click on this activate button yeah the flow is activated successfully so move to the instruction space just scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button yeah we completed this whole record trigger flow super batch unit without any errors please do check out our channel education matters for next module answers also please do share our channel to your friends it will help them too that's it thank you